Hello everyone, this is one more video here in the channels Super Academico and Tapa Olho Azul and following our attempts to get the attention of producers, directors, developers of movies or series today I'm going to do uh, the pitch for a story, a short story that I wrote uh, 25 years ago and it's published in this book, complete work, Fabiano Viana Oliveira, Dark Times. Well, before I begin, I'd like to thank, uh, thank for the new viewers, the new subscribers to the channel. You welcome to our channels and thank you for subscribing to the channels <laughs> for you that uh, is a new viewer in the channel just found out don't forget to subscribe to the channels and uh, hit the like button and also uh, comments share the video and uh, activate your your sub your uh, notifications so you can get new videos every week every week we have, we have new videos this past past week we, uh, we made some reruns of videos because we're we were on vacation now we are back and here are the new video for this week so the pitch for the short story named True belief in the great mountain. True belief in the great mountain. This short story uh, I wrote that in based on a, on a dream that I had, a dream or nightmare, dream nightmare that I had when I was 20, 20 something. I don't know. I don't remember exactly and it was a, a weird dream uh, and this dream was about a man that uh, basically when he runs he can project uh, everything that he imagines in his mind when he is running to his hand so it's like when when you run when he is running and think about a uh, uh, book, some book, a book, a specific book, the book appears in his hands. It's different, huh? So, and uh, in the nightmare, I don't know exactly what, I, what happens, what typical of, of dreams and nightmares, but uh, in the story then, that I wrote, the, the, the main character named uh, Greg McIntosh, he he begins being captured by a group of goons, uh, strange goons, that strap him in a way that he cannot run, he cannot move. So he cannot move. If he cannot move, he cannot do his thing, uh, uh, project things of his mind in the in his hand. And while he's there, he has some flashbacks about relationships relationship with his father father which is a, a very important thing for the story and during these flashbacks he remembers that uh, in, in the pages that he's, he, he found uh, he found some pages pages of an old book it was written that he could move his molecules, molecules, his atoms, as fast as he's running. And so he's try, he, he begins to, to move fastly without moving like now, uh, he, as you see me. And his, this movement enables him to imagine him, imagine him free from this, the straps, uh, from the restraints 
and so he escapes with a explosion. So all the goons, all the villains run around, doesn't know, don't know what happens. And when he escapes and disappears, they found the pages. And in this pages, the pages, in this pages that he left behind, it was written that he was going to meet his father in the Great Mountain. And that's a big mountain that existed behind his house. And then he, he, he runs to his house, old house, where he meets and like people that he was friends with in his childhood and try to remember that there's a, another and there, there are others flashbacks about his childhood and when he discovered his power so and then he says to, to uh, someone in the house and someone old in the house that he has to, to be in the inside the, the cave in the Great Mountain, that the pages said that he should be there. This page is a very mysterious, is a, a very powerful thing along the story that says say uh, where uh, where is written things that will happen, and then he starts to run in direction to the Great Mountain, and since he starts to run and he starts to think about the things that happened eh? he's not projecting anything yet but he starts to run and at the same time the, the goons that restrain him that arrest him before uh, arrive in the city and destroy the, the city and goes after him so to, to stop him to get in the great mountain he doesn't know why but they want to stop him and so he runs he gets there and we he f when he finds the the cave he goes there and searches and when he finally gets to somewhere that has some uh, signs of of of, uh, of civilization of, of people that lives there he, he encounters the book, the book, the, the main book, where those pages came from. And in the, the cover of the book, there is the, like a, a, the name of the author and the name the, the na is the name of his father. Right? And he starts to read the book. So when he reads the book, it's shown that he is the, the offspring of a much powerful person his father his father had the power to transform everything that he writes into reality it's very powerful things like a god power and he write and he reads 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 and in some parts he, he sees that the the, the goons the villains that trying is are trying to stop him to fulfill his destiny they're they're arriving in the mountain, the great mountain. So he he's surrounded surrounded by the the, the villains and the goons, and finally he gets to the end of the book, where he says it says that uh, what he's destined to do is a very mystical thing. Uh, he has no way out to run because the, the mountain is surrounded so he starts to run in circles around the mountain and he projects and thinks what the book says and said that he would and that is this is gonna twist your mind and uh, the book says said and he starts to project and think while he's running, remember, when he runs, he can project, project anything into his hand. So he starts to run, and so he thinks in the whole world, the whole planet. So he runs, and suddenly, the whole planet is in his, is in his hand. 
he's holding the whole planet in his hand and so the story ends he's like a new god born with the power to hold the whole world in his hands while he's running run across the universe run 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 forever with the world in his hands and that's the story that's the story that's a mystery story the story based on a dream and i hope you enjoy the story don't forget to subscribe and like the channel that's the video <laughs> share uh, subscribe comments and uh, put your thoughts about the this crazy story that i wrote based on a dream that i had and if you know someone that can transform this into a I know a movie is a, uh, it'll be a great short movie very mysterious movie so you can share and advocate for me and advocate for the channels till next time i hope you are enjoying our videos bye bye